killed the Egyptian children. That's what saved the Egypt. That's what saved the Egyptian, the Hebrews, from the last plague of death. Here's what happened, Tom. The, the, he, Moses told the Hebrew families to kill a lamb and cover, cover their doorposts with blood, with its blood. Then dressing their traveling clothes and dressing their traveling clothes and eat the roasted lamb on living bread. Holy Moses! <laughs> Sorry. Like, try, Pat tries to make a golden calf without having a, having a calf. Let's check on Hilly. What's on your scoop, Hilly? Tell us about the Hebrews. Exit. Two million people left Egypt, meaning the ex called the Exodus, meaning the going out. Therefore, in the Old Testament book of Exodus, Moses wrote about the trip from Egypt to the Promised Land. But unlike Moses, who told the complete history, the Egyptian tried to erase it. See this picture of the hieroglyphs? There's chariots and soldiers heading east and then just a big blank. That was the Egyptians' defeat at the Red Sea. Moses led his people to the sea, only to turn and see the Egyptians chasing them. Moses remembered how God showed his power through the staff, so Moses lifted the staff over the water until it parted. And God caused the mighty one to part the sea so the Israelites could walk through on dry ground. And when the last person crossed, the sea fell back into place, drowning the Egyptian army chasing them. And the children of Israel praised God for keeping his promise to bless and protect his children. Here comes Frank. Let's see what his team discovered. Hey Frank, what's that bowl? It's the bread bowl. The Hebrews use it to gather manna that fell from the ground each morning. God produced the manna, the people never went hungry, and, and get this, in all, their, in all their years in the wilderness, their clothes never wore out. God sent a pillar of fire each night to keep them warm yet, and a cloud of shade to stray them through the desert state.
before the great I am. And boy, was he in first chakra room when he came down from the mountain. He saw his people, what his people had done. They had, they had taken the gold they had brought out of Egypt and made it into an idol. Maybe they just wanted a god they could see and touch. They not only saw and touched it, they were dancing around it, having a big old time. Scripture says, and Moses knew not that his face shined. If he were here tonight, he would certainly be glowing as he saw this production. Holy Moses, you have made us feel like we were standing on holy ground. <laughs> 